Hi everyone and welcome back to my coloring book obsession. Today we are doing the last of my Mandela's coloring books. This one is in green and you notice from all the other ones this one has a different pattern. Very pretty. I love this. <clears throat> what it says is unwind, unplug and relax Mandela's adult coloring book. Exercises analytic and creative sides of the brain increases focus and that is just exactly what I like. I like things that make me focus. And I'm going to read what's on the back copy. You can look at this and I'm going to read it. I'm sorry it's upside down. Mandela's adult coloring book. Mandela's are beautiful and intricate designs with rich cultural history. Originating in Buddhist and Hindu practices, Mandela's traditionally represent the universe. Each Mandela creates a myriad, myriad of motifs and designs, many times elaborately colored and accented, and are frequently presented as offerings to deities. Deities? Not sure how to pronounce that. Perhaps the most well-known iterations of are the Tibetan and Ma San Mandelas. These exquisite mandalas are painstakingly arranged by monks who often spend hours carefully arranging the colored sand to create the various designs contained within. Once complete, the mandala is erased in a ritualized manner. The sand is then poured into a flowing body of water. This act of creation and destruction is meant to represent the impermanence of life. While mandalas can be in incredibly intricate and therefore daunting, they do present a wonderful opportunity to color and explore. In this book, you will find 32 large Mandela designs, each complex in their beauty, but anyone can color them, even if you don't like to color between the lines. You can use crayons, colored pencils, or markers, or gel pens. Mandelas have been meaning, have meanings to many people, and coloring the Mandelas in this book, you, you will surely find your own. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, let's go to the first page. And beautiful horse. This is, you turn it sideways and it's one of those masks. Sorry, can't see it very well that direction. This one here has guitars and uh, there's a, swan, or a flamingo, a drum, a Mexican hat. Wow, these are crazy. This is a hat when turned sideways. There's the brim and there's the top. Another mask. This has got musical instruments. This has got a piano keyboard. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a rhinoceros. Koala. Cup of coffee. I like this one. I love the, the patterns on this one. Some of these are so intricate. This is a cup of coffee with steam coming off of it. Like genie in the bottle. I love this. Another cup of coffee with steam coming off of it. Intricate Mandela. Love this one. They're both flowers, but you can tell how different they are. Very intricate. <clears throat> a pumpkin. Beautiful flowers and stuff inside of it, though. 
an owl. I love that. Butterfly. Dolphin. Lots of fish. Seashells. Um, guys, like I was saying before, in every one of my other videos like this, this, these are Dollar Tree. So the paper is very not good quality. So what you want to do, if you like this dolphin and you like this butterfly, then what you do is you copy the butterfly or what, whichever one you want. Copy it onto your, your printer or, you know, and um, so you have an extra copy of that one. Then you go ahead and you can color this one in this book. And who cares if it bleeds through then? Because you already have a copy of that. Could be a bluebird. Could be a cardinal. Something there. That I'm not quite seeing. Oh, see? Oh, this is a horse. Some of them blend in so well, you really have to look. Snails. Two deer. Lovely. Lighthouse. I like this. There's looks like a swan. And the last page. Windmill. There's a sun. Fields looks like. Thank you for joining me today. And I will see you in my next coloring book obsession video. Bye-bye.